Excuse me? Do you by chance have an internship for next summer? Yes, I do. What are you going to be working? Uh, Quistar Group. Okay. I'm going around at UCR today asking students if they're down to share like a bit of their internship advice for people who want to break into the industry because the market is hella cooked. Yeah. So I would be down. If you have the time, I'd love to interview you about how you broke into the industry and any advice you have for students. Yeah, like, that sounds good. You down? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. A lot of students are trying to break into software engineering, as you know. And a lot of people say the market is really cooked. But what do you think is the one thing that students overlook though when trying to break into the industry. You can't be too picky. You just have to go for whatever you can get. When you're an intern or a student in general, your goal is to get as much experience and exposure as you can. You don't really know what you want or what it's like until you actually get into the company. It's okay to have dreams and aspirations, but just know that there's a lot more out there. I want to know though specifically, like how many applications and hours did it actually take for you to land your role? I applied to about 150 different positions before I got this offer. And I did keep applying after like a while. I was even in the interviewing process. And I would say cold applying is very helpful however at some point it can get harmful if you just randomly spam apply and you don't even know what this company is for it could actually be a waste of time a lot of people would say cold applying is useful often have a really good resume so what is your biggest tip to make a resume that stands out every single time have your own personal projects and things outside of school that's really important because projects show a lot about who you are and what you enjoy what are some of the things that students overlook when actually creating and presenting a project on their resume do a project that you're actually passionate about i guarantee you after some point you are going to stop working on it or give up or the quality of it isn't going to be as good if you're truly passionate about it you'll look into how to make it better and how to make it stand out more because you're actually interested in what you're making and you want to contribute and did you have any internships prior to costar yes i interned at northrop grumman as a systems and software engineer intern last summer did you get a return offer for the internship yes i did a lot of students actually right now are trying to get return offers at their summer internship right now what is your biggest tip though to actually get a return offer is actually make connections with the people you are working with they are the ones that are telling your manager their thoughts about you and ultimately influencing their decision of whether they are going to give you another offer sometimes they might just be like oh like figure out a task for yourself and they literally mean figure out a task for yourself a lot of interns run out of work to do so what are some of the most creative ways that you've done things at your internship that have actually made you stand out first talk to your team and see what they're interested in if they've talked about possibly adding something to one of their softwares or simply a new idea that you have talk to your manager or your mentor and see if that's possible or even just do research on. Documentation is a really big thing. A lot of people actually overlook documentation because it can seem super tedious. Without documentation, it's really easy to lose the flow of that software and how it was built. At the end of your interview, you'll have time to ask the interviewer some questions. So what is the best question that you've asked at the end of your interview? to stand out in an interview. I think it's really important to ask about the work culture. People can try to present themselves as this person who will do anything to get into this company. But when you are being interviewed for a company, that's also an opportunity for you to interview the recruiter and see if this is exactly where you wanna be. 